Can an electric bike replace your automobile for transporting materials and kids, taking pets on outings, and making short trips? Let's take a look. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Miller, aka Palm Solo, checking out another e-bike, of course, and this time a new one from Electric. I've spent a lot of time with e-bikes in the past couple of years, and regular readers know that Electric has become one of my preferred brands. 2023 looks like to be the year of cargo e-bikes. The Electric Expedition. And this is a beast of a bike. It is a cargo e-bike with a couple of different options. You can get it with a single battery, or as you can see here, I have the dual battery option. This dual battery option can get you a range. Now they say up to 150 miles with a pedal assist and 100 miles in throttle mode. Now, with my size and the hills that I ride on, I'm not seeing quite those number of miles, but I can pretty much go for a long time. It has a capacity of up to 450 pounds. So at my weight of 250 pounds, that gives me another 200 pounds to load up in either these panniers, the back cargo rack that's integrated, or other ways. And we'll talk about those in a few minutes. First thing is, this bike has hydraulic brakes. And if you've seen the recent news, the XP 3.0 that was released last year, Electric is providing a free upgrade to hydraulic brakes from the mechanical disc brakes. So stay tuned for how to get those free brake upgrades for the XP 3.0. This one comes out of the box with hydraulic brakes, and as you see in my video, it stops pretty dang quick. It has a 750 watt rear hub motor providing 85 newton meters of torque. So this bad boy gets me up the hills like nobody's business. And I have a lot of hills around here. It does have 20 inch by three inch puncture resistant tires with a nice tread. It's not really meant for trails, it's more for the road. It has new pedal assist wattage regulation programming inside because these dual batteries, right? How to manage the dual batteries and how to provide an accurate uh, pedal assist with it is a great thing to have. Now this bike, you might think it weighs a lot and it does weigh more than your typical bike. But with both batteries and that integrated back cargo rack, this bike weighs in at 75 pounds. The nice thing about the Electric Expedition is it's built for accessories, right? This is a cargo e-bike at its base. and its base, it comes with that integrated rack that can hold quite a bit of weight. Now you can buy additional accessories. This is the handle that you can buy. It does come with a couple of, uh, in, the, uh, in the one pack, the Essentials pack, it comes with a couple cushions. You mount on the back here for somebody to sit. You hold onto that handle, you can take along one or two passengers. It also, it also has this orbiter uh, accessory. You mount that on the back and you'll see in different pictures. I was carrying around with groceries. I've delivered some pizzas to my family with this. This is a nice rack and it's big enough where a smaller child can actually put their legs in there once you have that mounted securely to the back of the bike. One thing you'll see mounted to the bike right now is these panniers. So this is another option. You can load up these panniers with a lot of groceries and things and be good to go. Typical in electric tradition, it has metal fenders on board. It has, you know, the easy controls, the very familiar large display so you can see everything. Um, interesting chain setup as you can see there and a kickstand that mounts it. And as you can see, it's mounted and standing by itself. It's a dual kickstand. So the electric continues to offer all of these bikes with affordable options, right, for consumers. The single battery one is $13.99. This dual battery bike is $16.99. Now, the essentials package that comes with the running boards, you can't really see there. You can see in the pictures. Uh, the running boards and the cushions is $119. The orbiter I showed is $120. And then these two pannier bags are $150. There's also more accessories, right? There's a uh, seats for kids. There's a bike trailer for your pets or for other gear. There's just a lot you can do with this bike. Now, I have a Safeway and other grocery stores just a mile away. I've replaced taking the car, starting the car, driving it down there, parking with the electric Expedition. This is my local cargo device. And yes, it can replace your automobile for transporting things. And for short trips, it's excellent. And you can charge it up once a week, once every couple weeks or something like that and know that you're going to be going for quite a while. Now we've seen a few cargo e-bikes launch in 2023, but Electric continues to bring an affordable option with lots of power and accessories. It's a big bike, 
that truly can serve as a primary means of transportation for many people. Thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe, leave comments, ask me questions as I continue to explore and ride the bike.